This is September 17th, the 260th day of 2022, and these are just a few of the events from this day in history. Today is the 235th anniversary of the signing of the Constitution of the United States of America. The U.S. Constitution is unique in the annals of world history in that it's remained virtually unchanged for over two centuries, while the average lifespan for a written constitution is just 17 years. Harriet Tubman escaped slavery 173 years ago today on September 17, 1849. Soon thereafter, she secretly returned to the South at least 13 times to rescue nearly 70 people from slavery, including her own family, before the American Civil War. During the war, she worked various jobs for the Union Army, including cook, nurse, scout, and spy. She was also the first woman to lead an armed expedition, the raid at Cumbee Ferry in South Carolina, which freed between 700 to 800 slaves. Harriet Tubman died in Auburn, New York, at the age of 90 or 91. On September 17, 1908, 114 years ago today, U.S. Army Lieutenant Thomas Selfridge became the first known fatality of an airplane crash after the Orville Wright piloted Wright military flyer crashed during a demonstration flight with Selfridge as a passenger. The precursor to the National Football League, known as the American Professional Football Association, came into existence 102 years ago today, on September 17, 1920. September 17, 1928, 94 years ago today, a hurricane struck the Okeechobee Lake region of Florida. The storm was responsible for the deaths of over 4,000 people in and around the South Atlantic and Caribbean regions. But most of those deaths, between 2,500 to 3,000, were due to the flooding caused by a burst dam. Many of the dead in Florida were buried in mass graves, but most were never found. The first stadium in the world with a retractable dome roof, the Civic Arena, opened 61 years ago today in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The first space shuttle, the Enterprise, named for the famous USS Enterprise of Star Trek fame, was unveiled to the public 46 years ago today, on September 17, 1976. The unveiling was attended by most of the main cast of Star Trek, along with the series creator, Gene Roddenberry. Originally meant to be named Constitution due to its public rollout scheduled for Constitution Day, Star Trek fans engineered the name change thanks to, in large part, an absolutely massive letter-writing campaign to the White House. Personally, given that the fictional Enterprise was a Constitution-class starship, I think either name would have worked as a Star Trek reference. And I just gave away the fact that I'm a huge nerd. Today is the ninth anniversary of the release of Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto V, which earned around $800 million on the first day, $1 billion by the third day, and more than 169 million copies sold and around $6 billion in revenue worldwide since launch. Thank you for watching. Like and follow Unexpected History for more just like it. Until the next time, I hope your day is pleasantly unexpected.